Hello students, welcome to the class. Uh, this is uh, about the lecture is about introduction to uh, this is experimental design and ANOVA. Okay, we'll start a new topic. Let us start with an introduction. The title is introduction to uh, the title is uh, not introduction. It is experimental design and ANOVA. Okay, before going to study this topic, one must have a question why we should study this design of experiments. Okay, you might have a question why we need this because we need this uh, topic or uh, design of experiments because it has a uh, several valuable reasons in your uh, daily life applications. Okay, first thing is uh, it is useful in optimizing processes. What do you mean by the optimizing processes? It provides a systematic approach to optimize the process, products and systems by identifying the most influential factors and their optimal levels. Okay. Also, it has a resource efficiency and a quality improvement. It has, it gives us a, in, to make a informed decision and it is helpful in scientific it has a scientific rigor means what it enhances the scientific rigor of research and experimentation which ensures uh, that whatever studies we have planned these are contro controlled and they may yield uh, the very reliable uh, good reliable results okay and uh, design of experiments it provides a structured approach to problem solving it adds an uh, systematic identification and resolution of issues in various fields that's why uh, because of this property you can use this design of experiments and also it has a versatility versatility means what the principles of this experimental design are applicable across diverse domains making it a valuable skill for professionals in fields such as engineering medicine marketing environmental science so on in many almost all fields what are existing today you can use this experimental designs Overall, I can say this equips individual with a powerful tool set to systematically investigate and optimize the processes. Means whatever problems you need, want a solution to study those solution uh, problems to get a better solution. The uh, design of experiments gives us a very good platform. It uh, gives us a, a more effective and efficient outcomes in both the research and as, as well as practical application that's why we need to study this design of experiments okay let us start with the introduction oh, what do you mean by this it's a planning an experiment to obtain appropriate data and drawing inference out of the data with respect to any problem under investigation is known as a design and analysis of experiments okay this is a, a basic uh, definition okay it's a standard definition of a design of experiments so this might range anywhere from the formulation of the objectives of the experiment in clear terms to the final stage of the drafting reports in incorporating the important findings of the inquiry. The structuring of the dependent and independent variables. Okay, Again, here in experimental design, you deal with the dependent and independent variables. So, uh, uh, choosing of those variables is very much important okay choice of their levels in the experiment the type of the experimental material to be used means dependent and independent variables whatever you choose those affects your solution and also whatever material you are using in experiment that also affects your solution and the method of manipulation of the variables on the experimental material method of manipulation means what which amount you are taking which your combination you are taking with the materials or variables whatever uh, trial and error you are going to do with your variables that also matters the method of recording and tabulation of data the method in which how you record going to record the uh, stepwise uh, readings okay how you tabulate those data and the mode of analysis of the material whatever data you will get how you going to analyze those data with uh, depending upon that analyzation you can define the we can calculate the solution okay the method of drawing sound and valid inference etc whatever uh, these 
inferences occurs how you define them how you use them that all uh, matters okay are all intermediary details that go with the design and analysis of an experiment okay so means what in summary you can say to study this design and analysis of experiment all these we have to keep it in mind okay now what are the principles of experimentation okay first one is uh, first most almost all experiments involve the three basic principles in other words randomization replication and local control these are the main three basic principles of experimentation okay these three principles are in a way complementary to each other in trying to increase the accuracy of the experiment complementary to each other means what one randomization replication and local control all depends on one another means they are all uh, randomly organized okay they gives us a, a better accuracy of the experiment and to provide a valid test of significance retaining at the same time the distinctive features of their roles in any experiment the roles of those uh, randomization replication local control those are all distinctive but retaining those the distinctive features they help us to get a better accuracy of the result okay before we actually go into the details of these three principles it would be helpful Uh, to us to understand certain generic terms means what are the uh, simple terms we are going to uh, use in this theory of experimental design also understand the nature of variation among observations in an experimentation first one experiment what do you mean by experiment the experiment is a way of getting an answer to a question which the experimenter wants to know here experimenter means what we the for the problem whatever we have for that we want a solution okay the getting the solution for such question is an experiment experimental unit for conducting an experiment the experimental material is divided into smaller parts and each part is referred to as an experimental unit the experimental unit is randomly assigned to the treatment is the experimental unit okay the phase here we have used the word randomly assigned means what uh, the how you are going to assign you choose randomly the variables and you can assign the values to those particular units okay small small units next is treatment in other word it it will uh, it is called as a sample okay different objects or procedures which are to be compared in an experiment are called as treatments or these are called as samples those samples means the Oh, items which are you are going to uh, take and compare the result between them okay sampling unit the object that is measured in an experiment is called the sampling unit the object which you are going to measure the uh, the unit whatever experimental unit you are taken uh, on which we are using uh, the uh, putting the object values those are called as a experiment uh, sampling unit okay this may be different from the experimental unit uh, experimental unit and sampling unit both are different those are not same okay because this is the object which is measured in an experiment okay this is a particularly one object which are going to use uh, measure in experiment and but here experimental unit is the it is the material which is divided in smaller parts okay factor a factor is a variable defining a categorization okay a factor can be fixed or it is a random in nature okay you can choose any anything randomly okay a factor in term as a fixed factor if all the levels of the interest are included in the experiment and a factor is termed as a random ra random factor if all the levels of interest are not included in the experiment and those that are can be considered to be randomly chosen from the from all the levels of interest okay replication replication is repetition of the experimental situation by replicating the experimental unit okay replication means we are replacing we are repeating the process as we are going to do in your numerical methods we are uh, we have a um, if to get a better accuracy we repeat steps we repeat the procedure in the same way to get a better solution uh, sometimes we need to repeat the experimental uh, units that is the replication we need experimental error the unexplained random part of the variation in any experiment is termed as experimental error an estimate of experimental error can be obtained by 
replication okay an estimate of experimental error can be obtained by replication means what we need to as i said we need to repeat the procedure so that in every time whatever error you will get that that will be uh, that would be negligible so from that we can identify what is the experimental uh, error treatment design a treatment design is the manner in which the levels of treatments are arranged in an experiment okay now we define three basic principle of experimentation those already uh, i have mentioned that is the randomization now we'll know uh, uh, just understand what do you mean by randomization randomization is what it is assigning the treatments or that is a, those are the samples okay or factors to be tested to the experimental units according to the definite laws or probability is uh, technically known as randomization okay so what do you mean by randomization assigning the treatments or samples or the factors to be tested what the units or the samples which are going to be tested in an experimental units according to some definite laws we follow some rules according to that particular uh, definition or particular method or probability is technically known as randomization or you may use a probability theory to assign the values and find the solution the randomization in its strict technical sense that guarantees the elimination of elimination of systematic error so what it promises us randomization it gives us a guarantee that uh, it may it uh, removes the systematic error it further ensures that whatever error component that still persists in the observations is purely random in nature what uh, assurance it gives us whatever error so some of the error will be uh, exist in your experimentation so random doing randomization what it as assures us uh, the whatever uh, error occurs in the component or in the observations it is random okay it is not fixed okay this provides a basis for making a valid estimate of random fluctuations which is so essential in testing of significance of genuine differences so what it gives us if it is random so that we can repeat the processes and compare the random fluctuations so that we can make the significance differences between these randomization next is replication so replication is what it is the repetition of experiment under identical conditions okay i whatever i said you have to repeat the procedure repeat the procedure means what we have to use the same conditions for the next step also okay identical conditions means uh, but uh, same conditions for the context of experimental designs okay and it refers to the number of distinct experimental units under the same treatment okay replication with randomization will provide a basis for estimating the error variance so replication together with the randomization what it provides basis for estimating the error variance in the absence of randomization any amount of replication may not lead to a true estimate of error so the greater the number of replications greater the uh, greater is the precision of in the experiment okay means what how many times you repeat the process so th um, that much the error goes on decreasing you will get a better accuracy next is local control local control means the control of all the factors expect the ones about which we are investigating local control like replication is at another device to reduce or control the variation due to extraneous factors and increase the precision of the experiment okay it controls the all factors expect the uh, the one which are we are going to investigate okay all these three are interdependent means randomization replication and local control together gives us a better solution of an experiment so in short it may be mentioned that while randomization is a method of eliminating a systematic error that is a whatever bias occurred um, in getting a solution or in an experiment it helps us to eliminate that systematic error in allocation thereby leaving only random error component of variation the other two in other words replication and local control try to keep this random error as low as possible understood how they are interconnected randomization is the first thing it gives system it removes a systematic error systematic error means a fixed error so it removes that 
systematic error and it keeps random errors. So random error, errors are uh, they are negligible and they, we can avoid them by repetition. That is what replication. So the replication and local control they support randomization process to uh, you reduce the random error. Okay. All these three are however are essential for making a valid estimate of error variance and to provide a valid test of significance. So to perform an experimental designs and we need all these three, uh, these basic definitions and uh, all these are continuation of your statistical inference only this experimental design and, and ANOVA is the continuation the topic of this statistical inference only okay in the in those modules you have studied the uh, testing hypothesis so it is a uh, ANOVA is one of the testing hypothesis only okay so three basic design experimental designs so this basic experimental designs has three parts so those are first one completely randomized design it in short it is called as crd okay completely randomized design second one randomized complete block design rcpd okay randomized complete block design third one latin square design lsd okay these are the three main experimental designs using this you can uh, solve or you can uh, there are some methods are created to solve the examples to find the solutions of some the all the problems which are given here they are all under normal distribution only though. so to study the population given uh, the comparison between those uh, samples okay everything one of the method go, uh, is going to be used to find the solution depending upon the requirement of your problem okay so in the next video i am going to discuss about the the main part is ANOVA of this topic is ANOVA and we'll understand what is ANOVA and then we'll work on some examples of ANOVA okay till then study these definition basic definitions of experimental design if you have any doubts about this module do comment in the comment box if you have not yet subscribed my channel do subscribe and support and share it to your other friends till then take care thank you